tripping, I get visions with the lights off. Only with the lights off. Only with the lights off. I ain't tripping, I get visions with the lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Peace and love, y'all. Welcome to the feedback loop. Uh, I'm Naeem. Just wanted to make a update on the remote viewing March 2021, uh, you know, project experiment. Um, this was a session I did on February 25th, and it's time stamped and uh, notarized on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. Uh, you can check out that info at my website, thefeedbackloop.info. Um, you can see a video review of. Uh, this session in the March debrief uh, for the crypto viewing Patreon, uh, where me and a, a couple other remote viewers working as a team uh, go through our monthly data for major world news events of the upcoming month. So you could check it out there. I'm gonna go over this set, uh, the session work here, and uh, share an interesting um, data points here. Um, so on page 15 of my session, um, I saw life and uh, this looked like, um, you know, an armed military type action. Uh, I said assassin stroke hitman. Uh, I see a man in camo stroke field type gear. He's moving around in an area. There's some vegetation, um, urban area. I get a sense of nullified target. I see them get low down to the ground at, at, at different points in time. Um, probing into that, I get a sense of um, prepared, focused, uh, cold-hearted, and you know I got the sense of a sniper, um, militaristic uh, state of mind here. They feel trained. I got the sense that there could even be a spotter there, like when military people do sniper shots, they'll usually have uh, someone who's like their guide who spots for them and, you know, helps them s s scope out targets. Um, I got a sense of a spotter, kind of like recon and observation. And it felt like this was an assignment and duty. And yeah, they felt like, you know, this is a, an assass assassin type thing here, aim, scope. And I got a good view through uh, a scope of a of a gun <laughs> so um, I thought okay let me get some more visuals here I did some edging and here I saw moving this is like a small like, movie clip I saw a military man lying on the <clears throat> on the ground set up uh, his rifle and I get a sense of aim and fire and I see the the barrel kind of cock back and, and you know bullet pow the bullet flies out and I see some smoke come out the barrel there um, so that was you know a pretty intense visual so you know I kept I went in for another visual here um, before probing for some more I got a sense of hidden sneaky um, sniper you know this is their assignment and it felt like they've they're misbehaving some kind of disregard you know for the rules and, and I had an AOL of like AWOL like when a, when soldiers like disobey their duty kind of like that's that's what I got with with this impression so I went in for another visual and this is when I saw large like groups of life bunched together moving towards a you know a, what felt like a barricade to me I got a sense of barricade rushing many voices all at once uh, hands moving you know what I mean uh, I got a sense of anger um, pushing, push back, restrictions, force, a sense of stand down, um, you know, a really hectic, chaotic scene in a, on a narrow pathway. And, you know, I got the sense that this might be the Myanmar protest, you know, the stuff that's going on in Myanmar. So, um, you know, I uploaded that session uh, February uh, 25th. And, um, the news, there's some news that broke the other day here on the, the Independent. It says, Myanmar, sniper spotted on the streets of Yangon. And it says, uh, Myanmar's intense crackdown intensified on Tuesday with snipers seen. A um, couple other articles. Uh, the other day was the deadliest 
day and so far in this uh, protest against this coup in Myanmar, and the, you know, at least 38 protesters were killed, uh, many of which are being picked off by military snipers. Um, here's another article. Security forces kill 18. Um, here in this uh, article from the Associated Press, there's a quote here. Um, they're calling for a reversal. The UN now is calling for a reversal of the coup because they said there are visual recordings of military snipers in shooting positions aiming at unarmed protesters as well as indiscriminate shooting into the crowds by military police and personnel. And uh, there was a pretty um, very sad story of a young woman who was shot uh, at the protests and uh, online on social media um, you know the people who are on the ground over there are saying that she was sni she was shot by a sniper many people are being shot by snipers and now many photos are emerging online of uh, the snipers in the city so here's a image here that was online of snipers hiding in the backs of trucks Here's a photo of, um, this is a video clip online of a sniper with two spotters there setting up in, in the middle of the street. And um, here's my drawing of a sniper that I showed. And uh, here's a photo from t uh, that I got online on uh, social media, Twitter. Photos of uh, spotters and snipers uh, setting up and... <clears throat> You know, it's not pretty what's going on there. So, um, scary stuff. Um, they just come out and start shooting, they're saying. So, snipers are, you know, been spotted and they're, they're being used to try to stop this, uh, stop the protest against this coup in Myanmar. So, let me know what you guys think about that one. Um, you know, I had the, uh, I had the, um, I wrote Myanmar, you know what I mean? It really had that kind of vibe, pushing, anger, pushback. And then you got, you know, these snipers. And then the stories this month are really exploding in relation to this. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you could see a video review of this on the Crypto Viewing Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash crypto viewing. And you could see in that video, uh, I mentioned... Uh, that I think this is going to be a Myanmar event. Um, so you could check that out there. Uh, if you're interested in remote viewing and you find, you know, and you want to know more about this and how it works, uh, check out my website, thefeedbackloop.info. You can follow along with this project. Uh, if you'd like to, you know, see how a group of remote viewers can, you know, work in tandem uh, on a variety of different types of targets, uh, Check out the Crypto Viewing Patreon. Um, thanks for watching. One love, y'all.